Be careful when handling strong acids. Copper salts are harmful, irritant and dangerous for the environment. In this video I'll show you how to make copper 2 sulfate from copper metal. First you will need some copper. I have more than 100 grams here. These are tiny bits taken from a wire. Because of nitric acid being hard to get and expensive, I will use excess of concentrated sulfuric acid and nitrate salt solution. I just add some of acid mixture to have excess of copper. And to stop copper from passivating I am adding some water. These fumes are toxic, do this in well ventilated area or in a fume hood. Adding more water. Close one.
When nitrate salt is converted copper stops reacting. So after about 20 minutes I pour off the copper salt solution and add more water and acid mix to the copper to dissolve some more. After both reactions I decanted copper salt solution into a wide container to crystallize the salt out. I weighted leftover copper and calculated that I have dissolved about 70 grams of copper. When solution has cooled down we can observe some crystals. Because there is a lot of impurities in the solution I pour it off from the crystals. The solution is then put in the freezer to get more crystals out. Now we should purify this salt. There will be some loses because of it. But I have a lot so I'll just go on and do it. Crystals are washed and water is then drained off from washed crystals. The salt you see is copper 2 sulfate, it's because of excess sulfuric acid in the mix. After all the crystals have been collected and dried I got about 150 grams of copper sulfate, which is about 60% yield. It is so low because of all the lazy washings. <laughs> 